Hey, what's up everyone? It's your boy, The Trash Man, and today I've got something super exciting to talk about. My honest thoughts on the Call of Duty Black Ops 6 campaign. Now, I gotta admit, it's been a minute since I've really dove into a Call of Duty campaign. Honestly, either they didn't bother to make one, or I just wasn't feeling it. But let me tell you, Black Ops 6 completely changed the game for me. It's been years since I've been this hooked on a Call of Duty story, and I couldn't wait to share my thoughts with you all. Set against the backdrop of Operation Desert Storm, the gripping single-player narrative of Black Ops 6 immerses players in a high-stakes world of espionage and betrayal. The story follows three rogue CIA operatives, Troy Marshall, William Case, Calderon, and Frank Woods, as they embark on a perilous mission to assemble a diverse team of elite agents. Their objective to track down and neutralize Pantheon, a shadowy paramilitary organization with deeply hidden covert connections to the very agency they once served. As secrets unravel and uh, allegiances blur, Marshall, Case, and Woods must navigate a web of deception, where trust is a luxury they can't afford. Next, let's talk about the safe house, a central hub where you can purchase upgrades, gear, and even some secret perks. It's like your own personal fortress. Want a weapons workbench? It's there. Need to train up and unlock new abilities? The safe house has your back. Oh, and there are some pretty tricky puzzles to solve around the place, so keep your eyes peeled. You never know when you might uncover something cool. First off, let's talk about what I really liked. Overall, the missions were great. They introduced a lot more stealth elements, and some missions even gave you a ton of freedom to decide how you wanted to approach the objectives. I'm talking about full-on strategy here. Take the mission hunting season, for example. This mission felt like something straight out of an open-world game. You've got so much to do, and I'm honestly shocked at how fresh the idea felt. You're not just following linear objectives, you're exploring the environment. In this mission, you can rescue soldiers pinned down by enemy fire, sabotage an Iraqi military base, or take down a convoy. And the beauty of it is you don't have to tackle everything head on, you can choose how to approach it. Want to go in guns blazing? Go for it. Want to take the stealthy route and pick off enemies from a distance? The game gives you the tools to do that too. And speaking of side objectives, completing them isn't just for bragging rights, it actually benefits you. For example, taking out the three SAM sites in hunting season unlocks a new copper gunner ability. This made dealing with those anno annoying scub launchers a total breeze. It's these little details that really make the campaign feel rewarding and dynamic. Whether you're in full-blown action mode or quietly sniping enemies from the shadows, the game has something for everyone. But now let's talk about the real standout moment for me, Emergence, oh my god. This mission completely changed the tone of the entire campaign. I was minding my own business, thinking I knew exactly what was coming next. But then the game hit me with this huge twist. It's like Cody went from its usual action-packed military gameplay to a full-on horror game. You'll find yourself on the edge of your seat as the atmosphere turns tense and the sense of dread just builds and builds. 
emerges as the first time in the entire Black Ops series that zombies play a key role in the narrative. But this isn't your typical zombie slaying, oh no, this is a Metroidvania style experience. You're exploring, finding key cards, and battling your way through zombie hordes and elite enemies just to make it out alive. And trust me, you'll need every ounce of your gear and every ounce of your wits to survive. On top of that, the mission also dives into Case's backstory. Now, Case is a major player in the story, but in Emergence, we get a glimpse into his past, the mysterious cradle, and some seriously deep lore that had me hooked. I can't spoil too much, but let's just say there's a twist that completely changes how we see him, and I was dying to know more. But of course, no game is perfect, and Black Ops 6 does have its flaws. The biggest issue I ran into, and I'm talking the kind of problem that almost made me rage quit, was a game-breaking bug that nearly wiped out my campaign progress. You see, there's a bug that happens when the game crashes, and when you go back into the campaign menu, your progress can sometimes be reset. Now, I wasn't recording when it happened to me, but just to give you an idea, here's a dramatization of what that felt like. Fortunately, I managed to recover my progress through a workaround, but man, that bug should never have made it past testing. If it weren't for that, I'd probably give this campaign a much higher score. That bug really held it back. Now let's talk about one mission I didn't quite vibe with. Separation anxiety. Look, I get what Treyarch was going for, experimenting with mind-bending concepts and innovative storytelling, but in my opinion it fell a little flat. The premise is that you're giving someone experimental drugs in an attempt to get intel on a bioweapon. You play as this person while they're in a dreamlike state exploring their mind. Sounds cool on paper, right? But in execution, I found it more confusing than fun. It was kind of tedious, and honestly it didn't add much to the overall plot. I appreciate the ambition, but this one missed the mark for me. Alright, let's wrap this up. Overall, Black Ops 6's campaign is a lot of fun. Sure, it's a bit on the short side, running about 7 to 9 hours, but it's still one of the more engaging Call of Duty campaigns I've played in years. The mix of freedom in how you approach missions, the added depth from the open world elements, and the surprise horror twist and emergence really make this campaign stand out from the rest. I'd give this one a solid 6 out of 10. It's definitely not perfect. That damn bug is a huge issue, and separation anxiety didn't quite hit the mark but it's far from the worst Call of Duty campaign I've played. Honestly, the main focus of the game seemed to be on multiplayer and zombies, but they did manage to deliver a solid single-player experience. I just hope in future installments they dive deeper into Case's backstory. It's got so much potential, and I'm hooked. If you enjoyed this review and want to see more gaming content, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss a single review. This has been the Trash Man, and I'll catch you in the next video.